So this is just a quick video. Um, I've been looking for a means to cut off my metal, cut my brass to length to be honest. Uh, but doing the uh, branding irons lately, which you can see on the Instagram page. Uh, so I've been doing some branding irons for some other makers, check them out. Uh, I've been using my sliding miter saw to chop the brass, which I'm not too fond of because it will rapidly blunt the blade. So I looked at chop off saws, metal chop saws, and and I thought, well, do I really need to buy another piece of machinery? So I just, I, I just thought I'd have a quick look on a Thingiverse, because an angle grinder is obviously a great tool for chopping off metal. And on Thingiverse, I found the plans for this angle grinder chop saw, which I think should will work really well, hopefully. Uh, I'll put the links down below so that you can you can have a look at the files. Uh, print them obviously in beautiful purple. It's just a bit of a I need to just clean this up in a minute. This is just a bit of old pine, recycled pine. Um, so all that basically going to happen is I've already cut one side down. I've already cut this one side down here. It's just going to have four screws that fix it in to a side. That's going to mount there on that like that. And then the plans you get, you get two two different brackets, um, depending on what your angle grinder is, uh, which fitment you'll need. Uh, looking at it, I'm going to need this one with the uh, radiuses in it there. That's going to fit. That's going to fit there alongside the switch. So that will just slides over the end. This will then this then mounts on top of this bracket. And then what you'll get is your angle grinder will just be on there like that. I've already got the bolts, I've already got the screws. And then what I need to do is I need to change change the blade. At the minute I've just got a uh, sanding belt disc in there. But uh, I'm going to use, I'll put this one in now. I would have liked to be honest, and I will have to buy some, um, some thinner metal cutting blades this one's a lot thicker than i'd like it to be just for, for using it as a chop saw so i've already pulled the slugs out of the uh the supports that are in the holes for the 3d print it's just using one m6 one m6 bolt to, to clamp this bracket together four screws which we're just using using four of these uh, screw fix turbo gold screws generally that's what I always go for I like the turbo gold pay a little bit more but they, they drive in really well and they countersink themselves when needed uh, and then I think it's just uh, it's got two M4 two M4 bolts there that are going to go through the top so oh, I just rummaged through found these ones I'm going to have to chop them down to length um, but these are going to go through and hold the angle grinder in place. So it is absolutely stinkily hot in here today. So I am just going to pause this now, stand in front of the fan, and um, I'll just get the bits ready to put it together. Right, here we are. So let's just go through a quick run through. I need to chop these two bolts off. Uh, they're actually mixed. I've got an M5 in the back here and an M4. Uh, as well, uh, they need chopping off. I'll do that on my Dremel. Um, but what we've got is fixed in with the uh, four screws, so two either side. I've added some double sided foam padding on the bottom, help it stick, help it grip. It's still a little bit, we'll see what it's like in a minute when we try cutting a piece of material. Um, Moved the guard, I had to move the guard of the angle grinder, I rotated it round so it's, it's basically top dead centre, stop stuff flying back up. Um, this is pretty much how it's going to work though. Uh, the only other things I've modified on it, which is on the, let's get that in there, on the hinge side here, um, there was too much s s slack in between the, in, in between the couplings. Um, 
that I was getting loads of wobble side to side on the grinder. So you were never going to get a parallel cut. Um, it's still not going to be perfect. You, there is still a bit of wobble, but what I've added in, and don't know if you can see that in there, added in a fairly thick washer either side of the... Uh, either side of the top bracket so that it just takes up some of the slack in between the print. Um, this is a PLA print, uh, printed with a 0.4 nozzle on a, on my Ender 3 Pro. It was with 30% infill, um, 0.2 mil layer height. Uh, I printed all that in one go on the bed, it didn't need, I printed it on a raft, I, gem, I like to print on rafts generally. Um, and it didn't need any supports other than it just had some have the little supports in the bolt holes. But other than that, it was it printed very nice. I'll cut these off at the end once I know it's actually working. So let's grab something to cut and then we'll try it. And I'm going to put some ear protection on. Uh, you might want to turn the volume down. So what we'll try to cut is we'll just we'll just try this piece of uh, 15 mil copper pipe here. If we try this, I've actually got a vise on the bed here, so I'll, I'll hold that in that. We'll try cutting through this piece of 15 mil copper pipe, see how it works, and then uh, I can cut those bolts off as I think working's all right. Right. Yeah, cuts through alright. A thinner blade would definitely help. A thinner blade on there would make it go through a lot easier. Um, and what, I, what it also wants, I'm going to have to add to it, is it's going to want some sort of backrest because to try and help you get a parallel cut. So I might just add a small, small block on here, wood. Should be alright. I should still be to get all the way through, um, just to give it a backrest. I can see. I've considered. I am thinking about possibly adding uh, another section coming off the side here of wood, and maybe the back. Maybe the rest could be on there. Um, but for the sake for the sake of just a little print and a bit of PLA, uh, well worthwhile. Um, I'm happy with that. So it will save me using my chop saw blades on the. Uh, the wood saw and like i say i order some some new blades today probably off ebay and uh have a look give the print a look it's something you're in need of it's a simple little simple little piece of machinery there so thanks for watching and uh hope you're enjoying the hot weather if you're here in the uk and uh see you all soon subscribe like the video and uh please share